Hello my friends, Modern Resist 3 strikes again. Um, so today's kit I want to show you is about selections and maybe it's... I don't want to brag but I think it will, it will help you a lot and um, maybe in some ways redefine how you use selections in Modern. So let's not prolong that. Uh, happy to see you. I hope you're happy to see news from me and yeah. Let's go into the kit. The kit's name is The Selection Nerd, and as the name implies, it's all about selections, but not only. First big feature is Tasso, Tool Adjustment Selection Style Override. This feature allows you to define how your objects will be displayed while using, adjusting tools parameters and adjusting channel values. You can set visibilities of selection, wireframe, wireframe opacity and vertices as well on a per component basis. What it means is that for instance you might want to see wireframe in the edge mode but not in polygon or item mode and vice versa. With Tasso, you can make less clicks, as most of shading behavior will be done for you automatically, only when you really need it. For some components, it is better to hide selections. For other, maybe not. You choose. This is the first incarnation of the Tasso feature, and many more rule-based behaviors will be added in following updates. You can access the settings by going into Model Preferences, Model Nerd History, and selection nerd. Next thing is kinda a mixture of a fix and a feature. Smart selections. Often in Modo, when you click an item, you end up with also other objects selected. This happens when, for instance, you have material selected and then you click a mesh item. As they are of a different type, they are still kind of selected, no matter if you clicked selected other items in add or normal mode. This behavior forces you to often hunt down properties tab for the object you just clicked, but the previous selection are still there, growing make it hard to find the correct tab. Smart selections help you with that by ensuring that only properties you see are for the object you just clicked. By default, smart selections are turned on. If you want to disable it, go to Preferences, Modern Nerd History, Selection Nerd and choose No in Smart Selection section. Component Type Lift Filter Component Type Lift Filter allows you to specify which polygon types will be selected. We can set it to only curves or polygons or only specific types of polygons or curves. This helps up when you are dealing with multiple objects or different polygons in one mesh layer, when you only want to focus on a specific kind. No more hiding selections, locking or using stats panel. It works with lasso or paint selections, as well as standard clicking. You can toggle the filter by using filter button on the top model bar, or use the filter pop-up, which you can access via shortcut Shift plus F. Item type lift filter. In a similar manner works item type filter. You can set it to only works on locators or geometry or instances or texture locators and few others. This helps up when you are dealing with scene layouting, managing objects, uh, and you don't want to accidentally click something else than what you really intended to select. No need to hide selections or isolate objects when you don't really need to do so. Both filters share the same pop-up, changing the contents when the component type is switched. They also work independently, so you can have both filters turn on or off or a mixture. There are also additions slash improvements to the visual and usability parts of Modo. Icons for components, top menu bar, and few others, so let's talk about those. As you probably already noticed, Modo got new icons for component types, selection options and selection sets as well as redesigned top bar. 
The selection sets panel also was redesigned with matching icons, which now makes it easier to spot the important options and also separates creation and managing selection sets from using them. Speaking of selection sets, there are procedural nodes and selection operators which relies on them. Two of them are a select by selection set operator and mesh data array. The new properties for those two nodes have additional component buttons, so you can quickly, without leaving the properties, switch between the selection sets for different components. And the list allows you to not only select the selection set to use within the operator, but also selects it in the viewport, so you always know on what selection set you will be operating. Simply choose on the list and click the arrow icon next to it to set the name field. If you want to clear it, hold Alt modifier and click on the button next to a list. But this is not everything. Often you are using or reusing more than one select by selection set operator. And it can quickly become a really hard task to use them because their names don't reflect what selection set they are using. This is especially visible when you are opening the add operator menu and you are looking for existing operators. Now, if you will set or clear the selection set using the buttons, the name will change to include the selection set name. Less guessing, less clicks, more pleasant work. A similar thing was added to Mesh Data Array, except the naming change. And one last thing. Often when you click an assembly, you would expect to see the corresponding assembly options or channels. However, assemblies are basically groups and therefore they are displaying the group tab options by default. Now, with this little fix, whenever you click an assembly, correct tab will show up allowing you to spare a click or a two. So that's the kit, that's the selection nerd. Uh, I hope you like this little presentation and I hope you will find uh, those features useful in your daily working model. Um, and uh, what else? If you have like any ideas or suggestions or like some uh, nuanced information or anything, just feel free to email me at hello at modonerdistry.com and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy to, to, to read your stories and your user cases and uh, your situations uh, you're daily uh, struggling with and some of them can be automated. So, um, so yeah, what else I can say? Have a great weekend and have a great Friday. Cheers. See you on the Slack and on Facebook and everywhere else.